is Sister Cities International. Sister Cities International is a 56-year-old network of U.S. cities, communities, states that have um, partnerships around the world. And we were started by President Dwight Eisenhower back in 1956. And we consist of over 500 U.S. cities that have 2,000 partnerships in 136 countries. And I heard that every president from Eisenhower to Obama has served as the honorary chairman. Correct. Uh, why do you think this is? Why are presidents interested in, in this organization? Because it works. It actually works. And when you look back through time, I mean, the person that started it, President Eisenhower, he's a general. He had been through um, many conflicts, and now as President of the United States, he realized that the best way to prevent these conflicts was to get people to talk to each other, face-to-face, -face, regular citizens, so that certain stereotypes or animosities do not develop. You know someone, you trust them. And when you trust someone, then it's much easier to do business. When Washington, D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray walks through City Hall, he sees many reminders of a generational connection to another capital city, Beijing, China. You know, when you're a mayor, you uniquely, you uniquely realize how much concrete responsibility you have of being able to move forward the quality of life in your city. It's a quality of life that is now permanently tied to the residents of Beijing. Both cities have competed in sports, exchanged students, and are now investing in each other's economies. It all began with what's called a sister city relationship. Mary Kane is the president and CEO of Sister City International, which American President Dwight Eisenhower started after World War II. It started with people-to-people -people relationships, student exchanges, cultural exchanges, music exchanges, and over time it's evolved into economic development. This gate in the heart of Washington, D.C.'s Chinatown serves as an everyday reminder of the sister city relationship with Beijing, China. It was built just after that relationship was signed in 1984 and refurbished 20 years later in 2004. Washington, D.C. has already secured Chinese investment in projects like Hyatt Place, a new hotel complex, and is working to welcome Chinese technology firms to the city. Right now, we, we are know, increasingly developing a technology presence uh, here in the city, and to be able to learn from those in China, to be able to encourage investments here uh, from uh, people who are Chinese is an important thing for us to be able to do. And it all began, says Mayor Gray, when two national capital cities became sisters. Jessica Stone, CCTV.